Hey everybody, my name is Leah. If you have not checked out a video from me before, and if you have, thank you so, so much for coming back. I have a lot of new subscribers, so I really wanted to do another episode in my Confessions of an Actress series. Some of you may know that my steady acting gig is working as a Disney princess for parties and events on the weekends, but I've actually been acting since I was a little girl, and that is the career I would like to pursue. I'm a performer, I also sing and dance, but acting is kind of the main talent here and I am pursuing an acting career. I live right outside of New York City so that's where I am all the time going on auditions or working on things. So I originally planned for the series to be more like live vlogs like me working on a TV show for instance. I did an episode like that. You can click up there if you want to see that episode. I did an episode where I was at an audition and you can click there now for that episode. I want to combine that stuff with some vlogs of me just talking about acting in general and you know my journey, what I've been doing, and I really want to inspire other people, especially artists and actors, but really everybody to just follow your dreams. To me this is a really long road. I've been acting since I was very, very little, and, you know, I'm not Angelina Jolie, like, I'm not a big famous actress by now or anything, so I think that it's not about, okay, I'm going to become a big star tomorrow, it's about working on things that I truly believe in and that I really want to spend my time doing and creating art. Also, there's that stuff that you have to do for money, like, silly stuff, like, you know, I was in a liquor commercial over the summer, like stuff like that, that I don't really have a passion for doing little parts like that, but it's as an actor, it's kind of what you have to do to pay the bills. Now, the thing that I'm mainly working on is building up my reel and trying to put content out there in the world, which is what this YouTube channel is, obviously. I started posting princess videos just to kind of have memories of the parties that I was doing and share that with the world because I know what a passion so many people have for Disney and for the princesses and then I had this idea when I was at an audition it's like you give them so much power you know they have so much power it's like it, it's like the casting directors or the director producer who's ever there they're deciding whether or not you get this job they're deciding whether or not you have this amazing life experience they're the ones who are deciding whether or not you know you get to further your career and learn and grow and work as an actor and that's really hard and so I said let me take some of the power away and say, okay, maybe you're not going to cast me in this thing that I'm auditioning for, but I'm going to create a piece of entertainment out of this experience that I'm then going to put on my YouTube channel. So even if I don't get the job, I'm creating my own form of entertainment based on this thing. So do you get it? It's kind of hard to explain what I mean, but... I just think that there's a lot of different stories to be told and there's a lot of things to be learned and I think no matter what you're striving for in your life, you can relate to that feeling of working really, really hard and you still don't get the part. I mean, that happened to me a few months ago. There was a role that I wanted more than anything that I didn't get. That was my first Confessions of an Actress episode. That was just a vlog, me sitting talking like this. You can click here for that one. Um... So I just wanted to kind of draw focus to this series again and make sure that I am keeping updated with it because I really want to share my experiences. You know, there's so many reality shows about singing, you know, like there's there's So You Think You Can Dance, there's cooking competition shows, but there really are no acting competition shows because how would you really do that? You know, there aren't a lot of reality shows about acting, but I think that it's one of the most fascinating things. I mean, of course it is for me because I'm an actress, but I don't know. People are always asking me about it in my life, so I want to share some of that with you guys. So the end of the year was pretty productive for me and even though 2016 was a hard year in a lot of ways for a lot of people, I mean everyone's saying you know F 2016 and all that stuff. For me personally I can say that I had a good year as far as acting goes. I didn't have the best year. I don't think I did as well as I could have done. I don't think I got as many jobs as I could have. There were definitely times that I slacked off but there were also times that I really really worked hard and I made progress. Progress. Like even that job that I wanted desperately that I ended up not getting cast in, just how hard I worked on that audition alone taught me something and I think that I'm definitely a better actress for it. I Actually, I would say that 
there's no doubt that I am. So I would just say, you know, a piece of advice is don't ever feel bad about throwing your whole heart and soul into anything. You know, acting is one of those things that you can literally do everything to be the perfect actor. You can perform amazingly. I mean, I performed for this audition that I that I was talking about. I performed it in front of a few other people. It was in a theater and it was um, like a group audition for a lot of them. And so a lot of people saw me and there are people that like had their breath taken away and they were like fawning over me and saying, you were amazing. You were absolutely unbelievable. You were sensational. Like you're getting this part. And I didn't even get like one of the smaller parts. You know what I mean? I didn't get anything. But it really still was an amazing, enriching experience in my life just working that hard on a character before an audition. And like I said, you can do all of that. You can spend countless hours. You can pour your whole heart and soul into it and you still don't get it. And I think that, you know, if I can inspire people through the series, that will make everything that I do worth it. You know, when I started making more videos on this channel a couple weeks ago, I was never expecting to help people, and I've gotten so many comments from you guys saying that I brighten your day when I post, or that, you know, you really appreciate me talking about my anxiety and depression, and that you have that too, and things like that, and the fact that I've already been able to help people, I mean, I'm sure I'm not, like, changing lives or anything, but I've made an effect enough that you guys have been nice enough to comment and let me know that. That means the world to me because as an actress one of the things that I want to do is help people because throughout my whole life that I've had anxiety and depression which has been since I've been 14 years old and even before that like I was I wasn't depressed but you know I had I had family issues I had things going on when I was a little girl and I would always escape through movies TV and music and books that was my everything and it still is the entertainment business is my life it really is there's nothing more important to me besides you know my family and loved ones it really is the only thing I've ever really really been into and cared about and you know just the littlest thing you know when I was go when I was 12 and 13 and my parents were separating. You know, I would go online and read some news that Johnny Depp, who was my favorite actor, you know, at the time, um, was going to be starring in this new movie. And just looking forward to that and knowing that it wasn't even going to be soon. It was going to be in like a year. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care. It's something to look forward to. Or, you know, seeing a new music video from my favorite artist, like things like that would keep me going and would completely save the day and save my life in a lot of ways. I mean, my favorite band, Hanson, I feel like they've completely helped shape my life. And I know that that's true about a lot of movies that I've watched because some of them are just so deeply embedded into me that I don't even realize how much <laughs> they've affected me until I watch them back later. And I'm like, wow, that thing that character just said, I always say that. Or like, that philosophy makes a lot of sense to me. That's something I've always believed, probably because I saw this movie a hundred times when my brain was developing. You know what I mean? And I just really believe in that. I really believe in helping people through entertainment. You know, I might not be curing cancer. I might not be saving the world, but people that I look up to, my favorite bands, my favorite directors and actors, they have saved my world in a lot of ways. So I might not be starring, I'm about to cry because like I really, I really care about this. Like I know actors, a lot of actors are considered to be self-centered and airheads and like narcissistic and trust me, I have my narcissistic moments. I'm not perfect. I have my vain moments and my shallow moments. Are you kidding? Of course I do. But one of the reasons I really want to do this with my life is to help people and I just want to make people feel the happiness that I feel when I see a new movie and it's really, really amazing and I want to tell all my friends about it and take all my friends to see it. I want to make people feel the way I feel when I put on a song by one of my favorite artists and it completely changes my day around and, you know, there are times when... You know, like, just like the other day, I was crying really hard, and I was really upset about something, and I put on the Beatles, and, you know, everything wasn't fixed, but for that moment, I actually felt better. So, as I was saying before, I might not be able to be starring in big movies right now. Maybe someday, that's the dream, that's the goal, but we live in a world today where I could just upload stuff to YouTube, and 
you know, inspire people like that. So maybe I can't do it on a grand scale the way that someone like Johnny Depp can, but you know, you guys on here have opened up to me and let me know how you guys are feeling. And hopefully with my Confessions of an Actress series, just because I'm not starring in a big movie doesn't mean that I can't try and inspire people and help people on the small screen on YouTube. You know what I mean? So I hope that you guys will enjoy this journey because I didn't really talk about what I wanted to do with this series. I just kind of jumped into it. So that's just a little background on me and why I'm an actress and why I love it so much. Wow, okay, I've already talked for a really long time. Of course I did, Leah. So I think that I'm gonna do the update in a different video, maybe like a part two of this video. But for now, I just wanna say that I am finally announcing the giveaway winner. So I'm really excited to announce. That's my version of a drum roll, I guess, is going like this. Um, the winner is Shut Up Jada. <laughs> that's me acting your name out jada her name on twitter is jada nicole so i assume that's your name jada nicole hi you are the winner of my giveaway thank you shut up jada so much for being a subscriber and commenting and just being the awesome person that you obviously are because you're here <laughs> i just want to thank everybody that participated in the giveaway. I seriously had no idea that this many people would be on here. I have a pretty small channel, so I was really surprised. Thank you guys so much for joining in. I have three more giveaways planned. Like, I literally have a box of stuff sitting in my room that is all for giveaways and I'm really excited to do them so please stick around I'll be announcing the next one soon this is so much fun I'm so glad I decided to do this YouTube thing I had no idea so many people were going to enter and I feel so bad that only one person can win I wish I had like 10 prize packs or something and even giving 10 I would feel bad because there are so many of you but I just thank you so much for participating and hopefully you will win one of my future ones in addition to the the box of stuff I have for giveaways. I actually have a really good idea for a Valentine's Day giveaway. So I'm going to be announcing that in a couple weeks because I need time to like mail stuff out for that one. So please stick around because I'm really, really excited about that. I think it's going to be a really nice thing for a lot of people. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and being here today. I really, really, really appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope that you are having an absolutely wonderful 2017 so far you're here so you've already made a difference in my life so that's pretty awesome because it's <laughs> pretty early in the year think of how much you can do with the rest of the year i will be updating you guys soon on what the end of 2016 was like in my acting career and hopefully some new audition videos and things like that will be going up soon i hope i have more news soon please cross your fingers for me pray send good vibes whatever you believe in do it because I got a lot of stories to tell and I want to be able to do that. <laughs> okay, guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram, please do that. My username is the same as here. It is at Capriya Moon. Please follow me on Twitter so that we can chat. A lot of you aren't following me on Twitter, I think, and I would love if you were because I love talking to you guys here, but I'm on Twitter a lot, so that would be awesome. So please add me there. It's at Baby Brittany, and I think that's it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much. I will see you very soon. Bye.